Now this is so funny. I try to grow parsley here in this small little bit. I just started taking all the weeds out. And it just, because there was parsley when we moved in, when we bought the house, and then it, it's kind of disappeared. And while I was digging and, and taking out the weeds, I found a small, small, what is it? A small bit of parsley that had grown in a completely different place. So just goes to show how strong nature is. And I was actually also thinking about, because actually Olive and Jean-Francois are making the first preparations for the tiny house that we're building here and that we're going to rent out. And I was thinking it would be so wonderful to have a small, herbal garden next to the tiny house so when you come visit you have your private garden and you can cook delicious meals using all of these herbs. Let me know if you think that's a good idea in the comments. I think it is. It will take a little more extra weeding and stuff and taken care of and I want to show you one thing I don't know what it is in English and it's been in the garden for three years and I've never used it because I don't know how to use it, but you know, the only thing I know is making tea. So I was hoping one of you or some of you might know what to do with that. Let me show you. This is where it decided to grow. But I'm going to sow some more because we use that quite often. So I have all these weeds to get out. Here I've kind of found the pathway that was here. I need some more cleaning. This is, I'm going to look that up. I know what it is, I just can't find. I speak English, French, and Dutch, all three languages every day. And sometimes I just can't find the word in the right language. And this is the thing, it's called, uh, I think it's Melissa. Yes, it's probably just called Melissa. It smells really nice. And what I've heard from our French neighbors is they use it, for example, in omelets, but mostly for tea. Maybe in a quiche? I don't know. Let me know if you know this and if you use this, how, what you do with it. And here is the beautiful rosemary. And I just adore these little flowers that come. And you can eat those as well. You can eat the flowers. Beautiful. It's just, it just gives it such beautiful color. I mean, the garden looks awful. And in my head, I'm just picturing how beautiful this all will be when all of that is finished. When we'll have a beautiful terrace there with a large dining table, some lounge area with, I don't know what I'm going to put there. And that's Olaf. Let me show you the progress they're making on building our tiny house. That is our old swimming pool that my friend needs to come pick up. It's been there for like two months. And there's Jean-Francois. That's where the tiny house will be. And you just put in, in a couple of concrete blocks for the floor to be sitting on them. And that's all it takes. And it's going to be a really gorgeous, I hope, farmhouse style, French style, but not too French, tiny house. God, the garden really looks like a mess. All of this behind me used to be our vegetable garden and we used to have zucchinis, all kinds of berries, tomatoes, bell peppers. What are you finding? What are you looking for? And here's our new family member, Tigrette. Way. We found her in the street and she was all abandoned and very skinny and Olaf is super allergic but we just couldn't leave her in the streets and we just created a small spot for her where she can sleep during the night and then during the day she's outside catching mice mostly and coming for cuddles. She's just so adorable. It's just such an addition to our family. The boys love her. We love her. Eh? 
didn't take more than a second For you to turn a whole world upside down Turn this big boat back around Had you been watching and waiting From some place up above Somehow knowing In this place All these people I'll find love Oh, none of us can wait To get to know you better To see who lives behind those blues And on your first day Doing everything new By the sweetest little dear And you are most welcome here So I'm going to finish this And then I'm going to go get the boys from school Allez, Tigrette, give me a hand here. 